The Ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are partnering with the California Air Resources Board's Clean Truck and Bus Voucher Incentive Project administered by CalSTART to rapidly increase zero emission drayage truck deployment at the nation's busiest port complex. Let's hear directly from the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach and the fleets who are taking advantage of these incentives. We are on the cusp right now of a major technological transformation in this industry, so it's really exciting to be a part of that. Right now, it's challenging. The trucks are extremely expensive. We don't have the infrastructure in place. So working with our partner at the Port of Los Angeles, we have created a clean truck fund rate. We charge $10 per container, and we're using that revenue to help make this an easier transition for our drayage partners. Initially, the clean truck program reduced emissions by over 90% between 2007 and 2012 by getting the dearest trucks off the road. And now we're moving into the next phase of our Clean Air Action Plan, creating a goal that by 2035, all trucks coming in and out of the port complex need to be operating on zero emissions. Since we've started collecting that rate, we, the Port of Long Beach, have invested $75 million to make these trucks more affordable, particularly for our small fleets and our independent owner operators. The ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach have always been international leaders in advancing our environmental initiatives. And now we hope to show the world that zero emission infrastructure and vehicles are possible and feasible in a port environment. A-Strip really was the catalyst to allow us to purchase the amount of trucks that we've been able to get in addition to the plus up money that was available from the ports. So today we have 56 zero emissions trucks and we're going to add another 50 in the Northern California market in the near future. And our goal is really to convert another 350 tractors before 2028 to zero emissions. Without that funding, I wouldn't be standing here with this truck in the background. Maybe one, but not, not 11 in our fleet right now and, and a nine more coming. Without that money, you know, as you're kind of on the fence, you're like, should I do it or should I not? But to me, with that incentive, it makes it almost a no-brainer. We want it to be a company that actually does something sustainable and positive for the environment, and electric trucks is, is one way to contribute to that. We maintain a drayage truck registry, and within that registry, we have over 22,000 trucks registered. We already have over 400 electric and hydrogen trucks in our fleet day-to-day -day doing business in the ports of LA and Long Beach, and we look for that number to continue to climb with the assistance of these vouchers from CalSTART. You don't have to scrap a truck. You contact the dealership. They actually submit all your paperwork to CalSTART. It's, it's very seamless. It's a very easy process. It was good to have that type of support, you know, as we were making this move towards zero emission. Because statistically, there's 21,000 drays trucks here in the ports of Long Beach and LA. And out of that, a lot of them are family small trucking companies. So for them to provide this additional funding, for them to be different and be more of a value add, it's amazing to see. As of now, we have about 20% of our fleet is zero emission, but we want to finish this year strong and get as close as we can to 50% of our units to be zero emission. You're not alone. There's plenty of resources, there's plenty of agencies, there's grants out there, and I encourage you all to go after it. I'm proud of the people involved in this transition, CalSTAR, having clean truck funds, and having associations trying to make that move. If we succeed, that's gonna go nationwide, right? The other people are gonna follow. I was part of the White House Roundtable, and they, they want other states to follow. So the time to act is now, because funding is available now. And ultimately, the money is there to help offset the pain of early adoption, and it certainly has for us. In advancing our environmental initiatives, we know that collaboration with other agencies is of the utmost importance. Therefore, we really value our partnership with the California Air Resources Board and CalSTART to come together to offer this incentive that makes zero emission vehicles possible. The future of drayage at the Port of Long Beach is zero emissions. We will get there. We know that these incentives are making a difference, and we know that we need to do more to help the operators make this difficult transition. As you can see, fleets and ports are working hand in hand to enable a cleaner and more sustainable future. Take advantage of available incentives today to help decarbonize our ports and improve the air quality in the communities that surround them. The future of transportation is now, and we're on the road to zero.